I wouldn't consider it. That, it was like an early dinner. Just seeing the camp set up over here, so. Yeah. For good food to eat while you're out here. We got, um, we got a couple of ice chests. Up here we got our alcohol. So what's going on everyone? Let me cut to the chase. So what I'm about to show you is the footage of us getting to Rachel, Nevada and uh, some of the, the first scenes first couple of nights and uh, we had an intro video but I wasn't able to get um, some of the footage uh, there was a, a lot of yeah, we had some of it on my phone we have some of it on uh, Mr. Gold's phone we had some of it on the camera and gathering all this footage is was, was just a, a mission and a half that alone took several days before I was even able to start piecing things together and um, to be honest, I'm still working on it. I, I spend most of my hours during the day. First thing in the morning, I go straight to work, and I don't I don't get home usually till you know, after seven. And whatever its excuses. Anyways, just uh, check this out real quick. This is uh, something we ran into uh, on the way there. I'm gonna I'm gonna commentate a little bit of what's going on. We we took the route that was fastest which was not south that we usually go when we go to my property but went straight over the mountains directly east and we went through Yosemite which was cool because Mr. Gold had never been to Yosemite before and so going over the mountains was really fun we didn't see a lot of wildlife but it was it was it was a fun time the best part was actually when we stopped at a gas station somewhere and um, while we were inside Mr. Gold stayed in the car and recorded this really funny scene so check this out Right here, I pop in and ask him if he's recording. It looks like his phone is in his hand. <laughs> oh, she said bitch. Fucking God. Dude, I got all that on footage. You got all of it? All of it. You told me to stop the camera up like that. I took the whole fucking thing. Really? Someone told you to stop the camera? No, you did. No, I didn't. I said, I just, I said, are you recording? No, before that. Like, before we even got pulled oh, up. Oh, so you didn't? Yeah. You just kept recording? I just kept recording. Awesome. I never stopped. This is going on from since way back when. It's over. I thought, oh, fuck it, they all had drama and everything. Dude, she, like, I wasn't pointing the camera at her because I didn't want to heat, you know? Uh -huh. But then, but, you know, she was talking pretty loud. I kept the windows open in the back, you know? It's gonna be the last gas station for a while, and if there are more gas stations on the way, the price of the gas is gonna only gonna go up. Mm -hmm.
fuck do you open this thing? That's, we should probably go. Great job. Thank you. Enjoy my video. Does it charge? Does it charge your phone pretty fast? The tiniest frame that had that picture. The other one was like way off in the distance. He was right. She was already taken off. Damn! I can't believe we fucking found her. There's two other fucking priests that look just like that. They're doing stupid shit. This lady looks like she has a small. Look, she's fucking coasting, probably because she doesn't have that much gas. Just like I said, man. <laughs> she's gonna fucking run out of gas. Mr. Gold isn't that great of a cameraman. He's kind of just records and holds it up and, and then just looks. And doesn't pay any attention to what he's doing over here and this ends up going. They're gonna I guess this help him. That's helpful. Okay. I mean if we never get around them, if we never end up passing them, what might happen? Yeah. But, but I mean, she could have, this person could have overtaken the ass and still roll for a while. Can I roll another blunt? Yes. Yeah. Funny as hell. That's but you have to be ready to pop that thing out if this person decides to let us pass. Turn left I'm to trying to wait to fix oh, it. we're turning to left. We're turning left. Uh, shit. Does that mean we do something? What? If, well, if they're going this, if they turn a different way, they're going straight. We're not going to get it. Oh, well. Oh, well. Yeah. We got out of the mountains and into Nevada. We did end up running into the cow pasture roads that we saw Iwu talk about, which is uh, pretty funny. We, uh, I didn't see the video till after I ran into the cows, but I uh, still, still thought that was a good laugh, seeing that one of the cows actually did end up getting up and right in front of the cars. Uh, as I was driving, I remember just looking straight forward and seeing, you know, I'm seeing cows all over the place and no, no fencing to keep them separate from the road. Um, and I, as I'm going, I'm probably doing maybe about 75, 80 miles an hour. And one of them gets up and starts walking right out into the, towards the road. And I was like, of all the timings, honestly, not not only not only would the timing been probably about right, but then the cow just literally stops in the middle of the road and stares right at us. Like, this is what's going to happen? All right. If you don't stop, you're going to hit me. I just <laughs> pick up truck to a... a, a full-grown cow steer it would just been chaos and I just can only imagine but uh, check it out the new Eastern Sierra system why in God's name would you do this cow fucking doofus don't be stupid oh you fucking cows you're gonna tell our friends Why in God's name would you do this, cow? Fucking do this. Don't be stupid! Oh, you fucking kid. You're gonna tell our friends how stupid you are.
cows, was that, that cow had horns. And correct me if I'm wrong, but was that baby cow sucking that cow's dick? Did you see that? Did you get that? Nope. Damn it. And so for attempts to hurt cattle. Some places it worked, some places it didn't. Hey, Alex. If you're gonna, Alex, we're not going to hold the camera. Just for Get there in a few, just a few minutes. This is 
5.57. We are clocking in to Rachel, Nevada at 6 o'clock. What do you think of your 70? It's pretty big. Yeah, it was pretty big, actually. It's like a size of Rhode Island. This is like a small state. I think this is it. We have arrived. Alright. Oh my god, there's something in the road up ahead. I don't know. What is it? Turn the camera around. Turn the camera around. What the fuck is it? An alien? It's trying to So this is the alien, this is it. Earthlings. Wow! <laughs> I only heard about it. Uh, there's the spaceship. What the hell? A little alien. <laughs> in. Alien. Well, let's try it on for a minute. What time is it? Six o'clock, on the dot. Double digits again, bro. This is Rachel, man. It is desolate. This is tiny. Holy shit. Tiny, you say. Look at nasty dude. He's not a camera. That's hey. Are you for the alien shit on the 20th? Here for uh, raiding Area 51? Ah, uh, well, we're leaving tomorrow. Uh. Well, what about you? Uh, we're just checking things out. Probably gonna be here for a few days. Yeah, they are starting up. I mean, the whole area over there is gonna be the concert area. Yeah? yeah. Really? Okay. So things are picking up. All right, you I know? Think it's here and in... Uh, Further down the road too, right? There's another spot? Yeah, so it's good. I think it's gonna be like 50 bands or something. Oh, wow. Okay. All together. No way. Cool. So... All right. Keep up the good spirit. You got stuff with you. Yeah, we sure do. <laughs> we got camping here. Water? Yep, we got water. All right, thanks a lot. Hey, do you know if there's a gas station right here? What was that? You know if there's a gas station here? Yeah, then we have to go to Alamo. Alamo. Just right before Alamo. Okay. It is a gas station. That's 20 miles or something. All right. All right so cool. you got gas enough? I think I should make it. Looks like about eighth of a tank of gas. <laughs> All right. Take it easy. Yeah, you too. Those guys didn't know the area too well. What was 20 miles was actually closer to 45 miles. We barely made it to the next town. No blame to them. After we got back into town, we looked around for a good spot to build our camp. I don't know what made me decide to be not so close, but maybe it was because of the idea that it was going to be a lot of people, which it kind of was a lot of people, but not as many people as you know, it certainly wasn't two million people, but we 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 were probably 500, maybe 600 feet from Rachel along the telephone wires, and um, I guess some people found that a little suspicious. You'll see why here in a bit. Stuff. 
this is why the batteries in my camcorders died so quickly. Every time I asked Mr. Gold to save the battery, this is what he did. Gas. If you see something or I point something out, then yeah. Be quick with it. Yeah. Looks like RVs and trailer trailer homes. Could be some people here for the event, but I don't see any gas station. No, it's still going. It's a bird. Did it really grab a bird and throw it into the air? Yeah, it did. That bird just took it. it I don't think that's a bird. Tornado, and it's right on top of the tornado. This shit's about to hit us right now. It looks like a black garbage bag, man. And it's staying right on top. That's a, maybe it's a UFO. Hey, it does look like garbage now. Where? The thing, the the bird, supposedly. I lost sight of it. Where are you looking? Straight ahead, right next to the sun, down to the left. Now there's a plastic uh, piece of cheese wrapper up there too. Yeah, it doesn't look like a bird anymore, dude. It looks like a fucking piece of garbage. I mean, if it's a bird, it's just spinning around, flapping around dead. The first night had been no problem. No one messed with us. We even made a fire and there was no issues at all. And so the next day, with a near full tank of gas, we had to go back into town and uh, well, not really into Rachel because they didn't, all they really had was the bar and they were setting up for for the uh, event. And apparently they were going to close the bar even for for the event. We found that out later. So we left Alex there and we drove into town at the end, uh, toward the end of the day after just hanging out and doing some light drinking most of the day. Eating food, shooting arrows. And then when we got back... That's when things got exciting. We fetched water, more beer. I can't remember what else. Most important thing was that we had water though, and beer. And when we got back, that's when things got exciting. We saw two trucks in front of us, but we thought that they were just more people showing up to camp. And supplies and we haven't seen them since. Did you guys already eat dinner? Um, we had I had a hamburger, but I wouldn't consider it. Uh, it was like an early dinner. Mm -hmm. You see the camps set up over here, so yeah, for good food to eat while you're out here. We got a um, we got a couple ice chests up here. We got alcohol. Some meats in here, some cheese. We got enough supplies in it. Yeah, we got. We should have more than enough supplies because we're not even got our entire camping trip. Yeah, but people just call it. So, your fire's 
still, still fire restrictions. Okay. So you guys got to know about fire restrictions and stuff like that if you're on BLM land. All right, so fire restrictions, you can't have a fire. Okay, so just know that. If you heat off your propane or something like that, that's not going to bother me. Just know about we're still under fire restrictions, okay? Because if you're under fire restrictions, you can get cited for it, and it's usually around 300 Because if it gets away from you, especially in this wind, it's going to catch the sage crash and it's going to still go. All right. Besides that, I appreciate you guys got any uh, questions for them. Um, I think these are your friends right here. We're going to tell yeah. them they can go ahead and walk in if they want to. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you can go ahead. You can go ahead and let them come in. <laughs> Pleasant surprise. Yeah. So, what are you guys gonna do? You guys gonna check it out? And, uh, and yeah. Like... Honestly, we don't even know what we're in for. Yeah. Uh, we just came here as early as we can because we didn't, we thought a lot of people would show up early. Um, yeah. We did too. We did too. We thought yeah. there'd be a lot of people out here by now, but you're probably not gonna see nothing until tomorrow or whatever when everybody starts coming in. Yeah, that's what I thought honestly. Because when I came when we started coming in, it, it just looked like a regular a regular Tuesday out here, you yeah. know. Have you been out here before? No. Yeah, it's this is like this is more people than I've ever seen out here, and there's not much. I mean, Howdy. it's pretty much hey, great. Good How are you guys doing? Good. Oh. I just come over check on you guys and everything. All right. I'm Special Agent Anthony Torres. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, okay. nice to meet you Henny. Okay. So guys, just know the fire stuff. We're still under fire restrictions. Okay. Okay. So unless you're on private property, and still under private property, it depends on what they're doing. But under fire restrictions, you can't have a fire. Okay. You start a fire, and if this catches up, then I mean, it's, it's over. Okay. But a citation for fire is around three hundred something dollars too. So just know that if you if you heat off of your propane or whatever, it's right, I understand. Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna be scared. Just know that and be careful. Gotcha. That's all we have for you. You guys enjoy yourself. Um, just you know, please clean up whatever you bring. So a little
second time that I can hear the motor of a vehicle, a truck. The first time they drove by and I didn't get any footage of it. And now they're back. some footage even though it's dark. off and they chilled not that far from our camp. White truck sat there for a while and then finally, oh, shooting star. Finally started pulling forward and drove right past our camp. I started thinking, like, maybe it's coming. I tried to tell myself it's coming from me. I just want to get up. I don't want to shut the windows. I just want to go to sleep. I think, okay, there's there's people out there. Maybe it's, you know, someone's running that generator. But I was thinking, like, it sounds so close, though.
Okay, now it's now it's raining. Some rain clouds moved in earlier. I have I had a feeling that there were rain clouds, but I didn't bother to say anything because I definitely didn't think it was gonna rain, but it's it's actually sprinkling right now. I can feel it. What a pleasant surprise for the desert. But those are some dark clouds. So the weather report said that it was supposed to be warming up and getting sunnier and cooler as the day warmed, but we're get, we're facing this thing that's just crawling into our place right now, just approaching the the south the southwest of Nevada, and this is a huge fucking storm, rain clouds. This is ridiculous. We're, we don't want to deal with this. I was hoping to bring this to my dad, so I'm like, you don't believe it, man. This thing was in the tent when the wind blew it over and took it 12 feet and it survived. And then here it goes, it just blows over just like that and broke it. Well, we might be facing a storm, you guys. The sky is just getting covered with gray clouds. The blue is disappearing. We only have this much left. Okay, that is not all you guys there's still more to come I'm gonna put it all in part two so stay tuned for part two be sure to catch it the storm is just starting uh, we still go to the base and I get kicked out of the festival so be sure to watch the next episode to find out why don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for episode two <laughs>